Among the 13 species of Megalothrips, the legume flower thrips, Megalothrips hustetia, are among the most serious constraints to legume production in the humid tropical zones of eastern and western Africa. In tropical Africa, these shiny, black, slender and small-winged insects causes damage and distortion to legumes through feeding on leaves, fruits or petals. Grain yield losses of between 20 and 100% have been reported for legume flower thrips on beans from different parts of Africa. Megalothrips yosteti is a known primary pest of beans in Kenya. It causes 40 to 60% yield losses at farm level, mainly through abscission of buds, flower abortion and pot malformation, making them unfit for the export market. Wakiingia mau kwa maua wanaharibu kale kapond kale kanatoka kwa 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 kwa, kwa mumea hiyo kamdomo ka yake inadunga dunga kamumea kanaka masimo masimo kanaka masimo hivi na kutoka hapo vile mumea unaenda kukua unaendelea na kukua unajikunja una kama unavyoona hii imejikunja ukiangalia hapa ndani hapa ndani sasa Unaona mahali ile thrips ilikwaruza mmea kabla haijakuwa haijakomaa. Kuna hii mmea saa ikikuwa namna hii haiwezi inunuliwa sababu ni waste. Yes, Farmers spend a lot of money by buying chemical pesticides which are not very effective for managing thrips. Dawa zenyewe zile tunawanunuanga hakuna ndawa Kwa hivyo kama masaa tatu ina hivi unakakuta kanatambaa tena kama kawaida. A team of scientists at the International Center for Insect Physiology and Ecology are already working on a study titled Active Aggregation Among Sexes and Beanflower Thrips on Beans to Helping in Controlling Thrips. So in this study uh, we were trying to identify if those male aggregation pheromones exist and if this male aggregation pheromone could be identified, synthesized and be used for monitoring, for control or for suppression within the context of integrated pest management. The results indicated that for all the crop growth stages, the density of bean flower thrips varied over the time of day, with higher densities at 10 a.m., 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. than at 7 a.m. Dispersion indices suggested that both male and female beanflower thrips were aggregated. Active male aggregation occurred only on green plant parts and it varied across blocks, crop stages and locations. Similarly, active female aggregation was observed in peak flowering and potting stages. Such active aggregation indicates a semiochemical or behavior mediated aggregation. Identification of such a semiochemical may offer new opportunities for refining monitoring and management strategies for bean flower thrips on beans, the most important grain legume in sub-Saharan Africa. Most of the farmers uh, who uh, are dependent on uh, chemical pesticides for management of this pest, um, for those substance farmers who are not able to afford uh, the pesticides, most of them they don't take any management options and then the yield losses can range between 20 to 100 percent uh, of the crop. Uh, so our project is mainly looking at how best to develop an integrated management strategy for these bean flat trips where uh, on one end we are uh, developing biopesticides based on uh, metrazim anisophily. This is a fungus which causes diseases to the trips which we are trying to commercialize it and on the other end we are also trying to see how best we can use uh, thrips attractants whether it is a plant uh, volatile based attractant or it is a uh, smell 
produced by the thrips itself to attract itself how best to use this uh, in the integrated pest management uh, strategy for bean flat thrips yeah so the objective of the study is to combine synthesized pheromone lurum tr with a fungus metarism anisoplay in a trap to manage the pest by effectively managing thrips Farmers will be able to increase their yields and make more money by selling good quality produce. Consumers will also be attracted to good quality legumes, thus enhancing food security. Connect with us to learn more.